Welcome to this video uh, from Smart Collection, uh, where I'm going to go through the updates and the roadmap August 2020. The aim of this video is to keep you in the loop of the new features that has been added and the roadmap uh, we are foreseeing going forward. As you know, during August, we have had a meeting with a lot of the users of Smart Collection, and we have got a lot of uh, good inputs that we have been discussing on how we can get them implemented. So this little video will go through everything that has come in and the new features that has been made and the ones you can expect going forward. First of all, <clears throat> I want to let you know that uh, within our documentation panel, um, if you go to changelog, you will see all the new features added here. And this PowerPoint presentation, you can also download from this link here because there's a lot of new features and maybe you would like to have an offline version of it. So without further ado, let's get started with the presentation. First of all, the August updates. These are features already added during this month. Time zones option added. This is mainly for the UK as they have been working on a European time zone until now. Uh, we are adding it uh, actually today as this video is getting released, so you will very shortly get a note about this. We have added Slovenian language uh, for Slovenia, who is uh, going to start to use the program now. And then we have uh, export route to Excel. Uh, until now, you have only could do it in PDF, but some of you would like to have it out in Excel because then you, in principle, can make your own templates, export it. Uh, and then use an Excel version of your route instead of the PDF. That also gives you an option to do uh, for the driver to electronically on the mobile phone or on the tablet with the Excel key in the kilos in case they don't have internet, for example. Um, area managers can now also manage depots and warehouse in his area. Lock type is visible for the driver uh, when he comes uh, to the list over the waypoints, normally you see the address and the name. Now you can also see the lock type before he actually go out of his car to go to the container. Uh, we have fixed a major bug about uh, the system being quite slow when you are making routes and going into container management and different other places. Uh, this have now been fixed and the system should be uh, back and even faster than before. We also had a bug where you, when you start to type in search container, uh, as you're typing, the search results do not reflect what you're typing. This has also been fixed. Another uh, bug is that uh, the area manager was not able to see the totals in the info boxes on the front page. Uh, this has now been fixed and you will see the numbers for his area only. And the latest update is that when uh, the driver click on a site to add kilo, now the name of the site is visible at the top to make sure he is, uh, has clicked on the right one. Uh, I will show this a little bit later during the demonstration as well, just to point what I mean. So these are the updates uh, for August and now we are coming to the planned improvements. I have divided this into some uh, categories and this is the general. We are going to invent a process for deactivation uh, of drivers and cars. At the moment, there has been questions, should I delete the drivers when they're not there? And what about the cars when we change them? Uh, we will develop a system so when you delete them, they will still be visible under another button so you don't delete the history of uh, previous drivers and cars. So at the moment, you don't delete them, you leave them on the list, the option will come. Time zones is, as I talked about before, mainly for the UK area, and uh, it has uh, been updated uh, today and uh, tomorrow. Uh, so this, you will get a mail uh, about um, when this has been done very shortly. Add municipalities to contain a parameter screen. Again, when you want, uh, you know, you have all the parameters for a container, you have the, 
the, the, the area, the city, the lock, etc. Municipality is not on the list. So the only way you can add a municipality now is to up, upload the whole Excel sheet of containers and add it there. This will be added uh, as well. There's been a request about hiding containers from front end container search. Uh, some of you like Norway, Denmark, and, uh, and uh, Norway, Norway and Denmark, you are using the front end Sweden as well. They are using the front end container search so people can search a container and find the closest container. Uh, you want some of those containers hidden on the front end. We have it on the list. We don't have a technical solution for it yet, but at some point we will get this implemented as well. And another uh, thing some of you have been talking about is the wet cloth and rubbish registration. Because when you uh, offload after a day, you maybe have 1200 kilos, uh, and it would be nice that we have an option to register how many were wet cloth and how much was rubbish. Again, we are thinking about implementing this uh, when you are closing the route. Um, and uh, this is also something that is on our plan. Then we have another category called statistics and work activities. Driver statistics and other activities improvements. Um, we, uh, this is a quite newly uh, developed feature and uh, this will be further developed going forward. Um, we need some more input from different places, what you actually need on this, but I have listed a couple of them here. For example, under other activities, uh, uh, a drop down of activities. So if you say, for example, packing, administration, uh, car maintenance, you can have maybe a drop down. So it's very easy to drop down, put a time and that's it. But then, of course, keep the free note if the drop down does not cover the activity that you are currently using. Other activities, we have a request about introducing stop, break, stop, uh, start, break, stop buttons, uh, where uh, in the same way as for the driver. So if you are a warehouse worker, you start in the morning, you have a break and you stop, you put a note in what you have done. Statistic for driver uh, shows start and stop, not total hours. This will be fixed. Uh, this is in the table that you see under each of the drivers. You can see when they started the activity, when they stopped it, but you don't see that the activity lasts, for example, two and a half hour. This you have to calculate yourself. This will be fixed. Uh, redesign where you select the columns you need for any report. This has to do with the statistics within the system. And uh, we have had a lot of back and forward on this. And uh, what we're talking about is when you are selecting um, any statistics within the system, you do a from and to date, and then you do a weekly report. But which columns do you need? Some countries, they are using municipalities, others they are using uh, counties, others they are using just areas, others they are using partners, etc, etc. So how do we make a system so you get what you need? And that we will do by uh, add uh, some buttons up here over the columns that you want to include in the report. And that could be, for example, site ID, container ID, could be partner, could be council, could be, you know, so you tick the boxes that you want to be part of your statistics and then you export it. Because in that way, every customer can get the columns that you need. And this is something also to improve it for uh, maintenance, because then maybe uh, if you want to do uh, maintenance of containers in a certain area, maybe you want to have a report where you maybe have the postcode, maybe you have the, the predefined route, maybe you have, you know, different columns together so you can optimize the table for the work that you are going to do. So this is something that is also on our plan to get, import, uh, get done as soon as possible. Uh, working hours and other activities report on same report. As you know, at the moment in the system, you have other work activities up here where you have some statistics for other work activities. Then um, I think it's down here, working hours, 
you have another place where you have to go for the drivers and see uh, their working hours. We are thinking about finding a way to get those two things also combined. So when you print out the working hours for a week uh, for a driver, you should get the two things on the same printout or on the same export. Then uh, edit working uh, drivers working hours if obvious mistakes. Yes, if a driver forget to uh, to to stop uh, on a Friday and he comes on Monday morning and he starts a new activity, it seems like he has worked forty eight hours in the weekend. Those obvious mistake would be nice if we can change them within a uh, smart collection. Now you export the Excel and then you change it in the Excel. Logs. Note bell, only show notes and maintenance alert. Again, we are talking about this up here. We don't need to know up here every time somebody has emptied a new container. But what we might want to know is every time there is a note that needs our attention or if there is a maintenance record. Record. This notification will still be available on the notification panel here. And you can still search here on certain drivers, uh, certain dates, certain routes, certain alias, and you will get all the records uh, that is relevant for you. Access to at least 1500 records instead of 500 and the logs. Yes, at the moment, the log only show the last 500 and then it starts to overwrite. So now we are going to put this up to 1500 and this will make sure that you always have the logs at least for a whole month uh, to actually two to three months, but at least a whole month record should be there, no matter how busy you are. Uh, this is also a request that has come in, as we also assume that the log will be used more in search as we go ahead. And the uh, reason for putting a limitation at all has to do with the storage, and it also has to do with the time it takes to load. We can revisit this later if somebody has uh, a need for more records to show, or maybe export records, or something else. Manage buyers. As you know, we now have this option within Smart Collection. You can see each uh, buyer, and you can see how many kilos they have bought. Now we're going to introduce a detail button for each, where you can click and you can see the transactions, the date from warehouse, and the kilos. This is to give a good overview uh, for each of the buyers, what they have bought when. Route planning. Show estimate kilos in your next uh, route panel. Again, uh, it's a small feature, but on your front page, you have your next route, you have the alias driver start point, and we will introduce a column that says expected kilos as well. Um, it's a new feature as the system, even though it shows some places, it doesn't store it anywhere. So we will make it so it stores it. Then we can use this many places in the program as we go ahead. Root plan shows 50 by default instead of 10. Also update from 10 to 25, 50 everywhere else. Uh, this is straightforward. It's a small thing. Uh, option to ECC national map with all the containers and zoom in, zoom out. We have had this as a request, especially from Sweden, but heard it elsewhere as well. Within Smart Collection, uh, they should be easy to, to see a map over all uh, containers in the area where you zoom in, zoom out, move around, etc. Then on this map, uh, we can click on a container, you can see uh, the collection, you can see a picture of it, etc. And also we can then, when we have the feature, we can add uh, features like on national map, we can add options to show container not emptied in the last four weeks, click a button, all those containers will show and, uh, and, and, and so on. So these are a new feature as well to help in the route planning and to help to make sure that we are not missing out any containers. Then create predefined routes, the same place as route planning, uh, as it gi giving a visual map uh, to optimize. At the moment, when you make predefined routes, you don't have a map to see what you're doing. And uh, we are thinking about uh, 
changing the way you make predefined route to basically use the same as the route planner somehow. You don't have to fill in here, but you make your route. You s when you have made your route, you can see your route, you can see external, you can check it, and you can, instead of sending it as a template, sending it to the driver, you can also save it as a predefined route. This is again an improvement that has been planned uh, for Smart Collection. So these are the features within the route planning that we are looking forward to develop. Driver interface. The driver want to see external containers and the whole route drawn on his map. Uh, when you are logged in as a driver, uh, when you start a, a route, um, you of course don't see your route. When you click on one of these, you that was not what I wanted to do. When you click on uh, one of these, you will see where I am and where's the next one. Uh, it would be nice if you could see your whole route. And when you show external containers, it would be nice that uh, when you zoom in, the ones that is actually on your route has a different colors than the one that has not been selected. It makes it easier for you to decide if to skip or add or whatever you do in your area. Drivers to see emergency empty containers to make sure it's not skipped. Again, when you have the list of containers, you can see maintenance info. But if some container has been marked for emergency empty, that symbol should also be shown here. So, the, the, so you know as a driver, yes or yes, I should not skip this container. Printed route, uh, uh, printed routes, bigger fields. Uh, we talked about this. Uh, some of you want the printed routes with bigger fields. Um, most of you want to keep it like it is. Uh, the problem by making the field one and a half times bigger is that most routes will come on two papers instead of one paper. Uh, we have not really, we are a little bit in doubt what to do here. Uh, at the moment, we have the option to export it to Excel where people can make an Excel template and print it out exactly as they want. But for now, we, we would like to keep it as it is now because it's very, very few who needs this feature. And instead of changing it for all, it's better that the ones who want it, they can use the export Excel and they can spend a little bit of time to make an exit template and then they can easily get it with exactly the fields, the size, etc., as they want themselves. Then on the drop down note, we will add poor quality and very good quality. Um, and uh, this has to do with when you are emptying a container and you have to drop down. Uh, so more options on this list. Uh, it has been requested um, for uh, because then later you can uh, check in an area if there has been exceptionally bad quality or good quality clothing. Uh, of course, if there is like normal or average, you don't use it. But maybe if you want to say this is good quality, good quality, then you maybe uh, it affect the way that you maintain that container. Even if it is little kilos, at least you know it's good clothing, etc., etc. So this will be added as well. Driver can add more than one picture uh, when he is uh, saving, when he is uh, inserting an image during collection. And when it's saved to the database, it should have a logical name. And this is for future use. Maybe the name of the picture will be the site name, postcode, date, for example. So maybe later when a picture is taken out, it's very easy to identify uh, by name which container it is. Uh, to add more than one is because some they want to take a picture of the container, but then maybe a distant picture of the whole site as well, so they see where it is. Um, then uh, quick add kilos for waypoints, not uh, on the route. So it's a kind of a search when they are on the route and they just fill in. Uh, so basically down here, you can see all the external and you can add it to the route and so on. It takes a little bit more time. But we were thinking about just a search field where you say, uh, 
uh, search on site name and then you write the name and then you click it and you can add the kilo straight away. There's another improvement we are thinking about here. Drivers should also see the last eight weeks when clicking a waypoint on the map. So again, when he is in doubt, if he need to, if he should add this one here, he can only add it. He doesn't actually see the last eight weeks. If it was emptied last week, for example, maybe it's not needed and he can go to a different container instead. So this is again something that will be added. That's the driver interface. Now let's go to maintenance. Maintenance, we have done a lot of basic redoing of uh, the maintenance. And some of you love it and some of you are not so fond of it. But the basic is very, very good because um, the way we have made it is that we can integrate stuff in many places in the program. First of all, we will remove notes uh, to the maintenance list. Um, visible, um, uh, what is it saying? Visible driver statistic logs and manage container. Um, oh yeah, that's referring to where the notes will be visible. So when a driver uh, only uses this dropdown, which we call a, a kind of note, then it will not show up on the maintenance. In order for it to show up on a maintenance, the driver has to click basic or has to click emergency and has to click a note. Uh, the reason for that is, for example, if you click and you say graffiti, um, and uh, that, that means that there's graffiti on the container, but is it a little thing up in the corner and it's not urgent, you don't need to actually paint the container? Maybe, you don't know. But for example, if you say here and you say container overpainted with the, with, with the Nazi symbol or something, then you know that you have to do something urgent. So then you tick it off as a maintenance because you need to react to it. So we're going to divide those two things so you see one thing and not the other. Container stock and integrate this in maintenance for the ones who want it. Again, um, some of you, this is what makes the container maintenance a little bit complicated because you most of you want some of you want to use it in one way and some of you want to use it in the other way half of you want to know where each container is so you have an id in a container and you want to follow that container around which means if you go out on a maintenance let load up a uh, um, sample maintenance here like here, for example, uh, you have some uh, containers that are ready to go out. Then you have a container that is going to go in. Some of you just tell the driver, go to this side, take a container with you, replace this container, and when it's done, let me know and I will delete this maintenance record. This doesn't this is not possible if you want to trace a container, for example, because which container did you put there in place? So the system will be made so you can do it like this, like now. You can just manually agree, okay, go and replace that container. When it's done, I delete the record. Others, they will use a container stock and say, I take this container and I will put that out on this place. So when I take in this, there's another record opposite that shows put another container out instead and in that way you can follow each container um, through its life where it has been what has been done to it etc etc so it's a little bit of a complex thing but when we come to uh, create this uh, container stock um, we will also have a second look on the maintenance uh, to make sure that it works smoothly uh, for the two system, the ones who want to keep a track of each container and the one who doesn't care where a container comes from as long as it's swapped. Within maintenance, we want to make it possible to move a container from one side to another on the same route. That's quite complex at the moment. Uh, so if you, for example, is going to move it from one shop to another, 
Uh, now it's quite tricky. Uh, it's a lot of working around and change the address and so on. We want it to be possible to just add it and say move to this site and then it's added to your route plan. Then moving maintenance uh, routes to the standard route plan. Uh, create a tab so we can mix route, for example, collecting and maintenance. As you know now, uh, you have a separate maintenance route plan. What we are thinking is to add it to the normal route plan. And as you see here, you have the waypoints. You can click here to see only the one that has emergency uh, empty marked. And we were thinking maybe you have a third uh, thing that says show only with maintenance. And then you can add them to the maintenance uh like uh, together with the collection if it was uh, but again having it built upon the same planning tool gives us many options going forward instead of having it in two different tools different places in the system uh, so at least for the ones who want to use it mixed they can do that for the ones who don't want to use it mixed they can still go there and use the maintenance route plan uh, from that location so that was uh, the presentation uh, for uh, this month. Uh, it might be a little bit long and there was a lot of new things, uh, but that's the reason why I also added the, the download of the PowerPoint so you can have a look at it in your own time so you can follow it in the development. Hope you enjoyed the video and we are looking forward to the September updates.